Hello, I'm Tom Ellis. I play Lucifer on the show Lucifer. And I'm going to show you today my training regime that I use to get into shape, especially for season four of Lucifer. Hashtag devil training. Let's give it a go. So before I do any lifting, I like to start by having a good 20 minute warm up on the treadmill. So I'll do five minutes of an easy, nice pace jog, and then I'll do intermittently 45 seconds of sprint. So I'll crank it up to about uh, 12 miles an hour for a sprint for 45 seconds, then take it back down to a walking pace for about four miles an hour. And I'll do that until I hit 20 minutes. And then I've got my blood pumping and I'm ready to go. Uh, when we were getting in shape for Lucifer season four, I really wanted to gain some muscle mass. And so the best way to do that was consult my trainer, Paolo. Paolo, everybody. And uh, basically, Paolo suggested that we did, well, we were gonna train six days a week, but we would do four days of it as an upper lower body split using big compound movements, get the big muscles going. So uh, an upper body day will contain things like this, the bench press. So when we're doing the bench press, we're working to try and build that lean uh, muscle mass. So I'll put a heavy weight on there, I'll do somewhere between eight to 10 reps, and we'll do that four times. So this is an oldie but a goodie. It's the classic wide grip pull up. Now I couldn't do any of these at the beginning of the year, but a lot of practice, keep your core engaged, get under it nicely, and go for it. Always remember to breathe out on the way up. And a slow back down. As I say, I couldn't do any of these at the beginning of the year. So I've slowly built up to doing probably about 10 reps on my first go and that'll slowly come down to eight, six, and probably six again. I try and do four sets of those. Another great compound movement to get the shoulders fired up, I like to do this at the start of my, uh, my upper body days, is the overhead seated shoulder press. Uh, I'd like to try and start heavy, so I've got 40 pounds on each arm. Paolo, he's so good. Uh, if you have got a trainer and using heavy weights, it's great to help you get into position without injuring yourself. So if you get them up with a swing, three, two, one. There we go, in position and a nice, get a good depth on them. And try and explode upwards. The slow contracting is just as important for the muscle building as doing it for the exercises quickly. Let's do one more. Yeah, up, up, slow. And then just to get them down safely, tuck them into your body. So if you really want to carve out those shoulders, a great superset exercise to do with the overhead presses is the single arm cable lateral raise. So you get your cable, you don't have to overload this weight, you're going for good clean reps. So straight up, down to the side, down to the side. You superset this with the overhead presses and you do four sets of each one with minimal rest in between. And your shoulders will be on fire. Okay, time to get the guns going. Um, I'm gonna use the classic single arm bicep curl, except we don't need heavy weights. People use heavy weights and they often cheat by swinging their bodies. I'm going for a flat surface on my back. My flat against here. That's it, and then you wanna get your elbows pinned in like this and you want nice, slow contractions. Then bring them both up like that, keep them together, and just lower slowly, one at a time. Nice, long, controlled movements. Why am I talking so slowly? So in terms of reps and sets, we're doing 10 reps on each arm, which is if you work it out, that's 20 reps, back and forth. And you want slow, steady movements, and we do that four times. So, one of the best exercises you can do on leg day is the classic squat. It fires up all the big muscles. You get a nice, 
good heavy weight, good form, and come down and open up. Okay. Oh, this is heavy. Actually, it's not really. I'm going to wait on today, but normally I'd stack it up with about 60 to 70 kilos. It's all about form and protecting your back. Oh, oh my bum feels nice. Right, well, that's just uh, a few exercises from uh, the devil training that I do with Paolo. Always have a good 10 to 15 minute stretch afterwards. I have to these days because I'm getting old and I need loads of this stuff. Keep hydrated, eat clean, and you'll see the difference. Laters.